Major Slack videos. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring. And here we are in Nakron, the Eternal City. And we are on a quest to get the Mimic Tear Ashes. And enough Ghost Glovers to bring it up to plus 10. We have Ghost Glover 1, 2, 3, 4. We're missing 5, 6, 7. And that's it. Let's go get number 5. From this location that we left off at last video, okay, push to the northeast. Lots of stuff to do in this area down here, but we're just after um, Ghost Glover 5. So yeah, I'm knowing I'm passing by a lot of stuff, and you can light up all the, the flaming towers and do the boss fight there. We're not going to do that. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, oh right, there's a teardrop scarab down there that I guess it jumped off the cliff there. Okay, and we got the the somber Miss Smithing Stone. Anyways, um, just looking for the opening on the left side here. Here it is. Yeah, by the way, you can use your horse in this area. Okay, so. All we want to do is go all the way up there to the end, and there's kind of like this area. Let me show you on the map right now. Right here. This area right here. And there's a Ghost Gloverit 5 there. Now, this is a sunken area. Um, I have not yet figured out how to get out of it except by fast traveling. So when I show you if anyone knows how to get out of it um, without having to fast travel. Post a comment. I haven't figured it out. Um, so what we want to do is discover the site of grace here, which is going to lead us down to the um, where we want to go. So just follow up on the cliff side on the west here. Just stick to the the left side here, and you're going to see this opening right here. Make sure you discover this. Okay, and having discovered that, let's go get Ghost Glover number five. Now, this red wolf here, this is a hell of a fight. And it's only worth 2,000 runes. It's a really hard way to make 2,000 runes. I don't recommend it at all. So I would avoid him. Let's just give him a wide berth. It's patrolling around. Another somber five. Let's wait and see what he does. Can we just kind of get out of range here? Here's the Trina's Lily. Yeah, it looks like there's an opening here. We can just scoot on past him, behind him here. Travel along these cliffs here. Usually I do this on foot. And up here. Could kill these guys, but you don't have to. And we want to get down here. So do a running jump off here and land on that little platform there, right here. Then you can jump down here and down here. And your Ghost Glover 5 is right here. This is actually quite rare. And there's this kind of weird kind of tool you can click, which is pretty good for a mage. Let's go get that. This is easy. You can jump up here. Jump over here. Don't go up, up, up. Okay, and up here. Watch it now. Okay, watch out for the gap. Alley up, ba -da -ba. Okay. And another gap at the end. Easy to miss. Just jump and bump to the wall. Hang a left here, jump into the dish. And down here. Kill this guy. A couple of night comets. And grab yourself this weird item. 
the ancestral infant's head. And if you're looking all over your inventory for what that is, it's a tool. So you can put it here. I always lose this. There it is right there. This thing right here. Skull of a very young ancestral spirit. Just think of how many sp spreadings it might bear. <laughs> use, use this FP to spray spirit vapor inflicting magic damage. The vapor becomes a temporary geyser which deals continuous damage to everything it touches until it disappears. And I believe it skills with intelligence. Yep, yeah, A. A skilling. Do that little test drive. That's what it looks like. Not the fastest cast time, but uh, yeah, it could be useful. Right? So you got that. Okay, we're gonna make a running jump here. Uh, whoop. Like I said, I do not know how to get out of here. Even if you were able to get up there, let's say you're able to get up there and get back onto that platform up there, uh, how would you make the jump up there? Even with the horse? I don't know. Oh, wait, there's another ghost glove right over there. I don't think this is another five. Oh no, these are just silver fireflies. Okay, don't know about that. If you know, post a comment. So I'm just going to fast travel back to Ancestral Woods and we'll pick up from there. Okay, so we got our five. Now we need the Mimic Tear Ash and a six and a seven. To continue, have to do a little more parkour here. Point yourself to the, the southwest and get to jump onto that rooftop there. Uh, whoop. Okay, and it's kind of hidden how to continue from here, but carefully you're going to jump over to this ledge here. Uh, whoop. Yoda. Turn back here. Let's get some light on the scene. Okay, easy, 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 easy. And you're at the nice sacred ground. You're going to make the jump across here. Grab yourself some goodies. And carefully now. Pull towards the candle, and now we're gonna make a jump across onto that that kind of dome rooftop. There's gonna be a guy down there. Make sure you take care of him. He could give you a hard time. Uh, watch it! Watch it! Uh, up! Okay, and there's another one of those guys. Oh no! Tough! I can't believe it! That's never happened before. I had a bugger just beat me back. Damn! These things only happen when I'm recording. I swear, I've, that has never happened to me before. Alright, time for some payback. Uh, whoop. Well, I'm watching that. Okay. At least I'm picking up some extra silver tier husks on this. Ok, 
okay just planning this do not get boxed in up against that the ledger that was the mistake alley oop grab this all right he's a learner watch it out that's enough out of you yeah payback Okay, all is right with the world. Next, down to the southeast, down this little pathway here. And this is exactly where we want to go to uh, continue the Rani quest line. What she asked you to get the, what did she call it? The hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. That's exactly where it is. See that chest in there? That's where it is. The Finger Slayer Blade. Um, we're going this way and we're going to get shortly, we're going to pick up the Mimic Tear Ash. So the way to continue is across here. Okay, and this should be a safe drop down. It is. And the Mimic Tear Ash is in that room over there. That's exactly where it is. Let's go get it. And there's um, an ash over here's the black wet blade. Oh, this is just a... Let me just take that out. And, oh, I forgot to tell you, you're going to need a... A stone sword key. Just one. Let me see. Yep, just one. There we go. And whoop, watch it now. Kill that guy. Open up your chest. And to the victor go the spoils, the mimic tear ashes. Boy yeah. Now you're cooking with gas. Right, so everybody's got that. All we need is a Ghost Glove Word 6 and a Ghost Glove Word 7. Which we're going to get in the next area that we go to after um, completing the next objective in Rhiney's quest line. So let's go get that Finger Slayer Blade. Down here. Oh, wait a minute, watch it now. Good thing to do is to take out this ball beforehand. Target it. And that should give you another larval tier. Yeah, deal with that up top, because otherwise it's going to be rolling around giving you a hard time. There we go, another larval tier. So everyone's got plenty of larval tiers. Lots of these silver silver tear husks around here. Okay, we got a sight of grace down here. Make sure you discover that, and then we're going to push to the north. Okay, a whole bunch of blobs here. They're no big deal. Just uh, wipe them out with. Oh, you know what you should do? Let's. Uh, bring these guys in just for a little fun. There you go. Hey, go for it. Off you go. <laughs> a little army here.
Let me see if this guy takes this guy on. Come on, keep your left up. You got this. Come on. He's not making any headway at all. Okay. Okay. They could definitely use a little spit shine. I guess it was unfair to test them at, at rank one or level one. Oops, I think I double chugged here. There you go. And we're good to go. Okay, no celestial dew left behind. And up the stairs. And not only do you get the Finger Slayer Blade, but you get another great Ghost Glovert. Yeah, now we're really cooking for gas. So now you can max out two unique ashes. And that's it. This way gate actually just takes you back to the ancestral woods side of Grace. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. It's kind of redundant unless there's another way to get here without passing by the ancestral woods side of grace, I don't know. Anyway, so let's just uh, simply fast travel back to Rani. We've got the hidden treasure of the Nokron Eternal City. That's what she wanted. Let's go bring it to her. Rani's Rise. What? Watch it now. Actually, that's not a big drop. Okay, careful. Right in, my dear. Guess what? We found the hidden treasure of switch action. Really? What else can you? Oh yeah, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. Um, let's just talk to her. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber, I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Huh, I never knew that you could actually give Rani Selephis' potion after you'd already given it to the Dung Eater. Huh, okay. Because it would make sense you, like, you used it up giving it to the Dung Eater. Anyways, um, okay, so what else? Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. The carrion inverted statue which opens up a s secret area which we're not going to do in this walkthrough because I want to wrap things up. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent too for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. 
And that's it. And she, if you try to talk to her again, she's going to dismiss you. What is it? You may go. Okay. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Done and done. Alright, now the carrion brooded statue opens up. Pretty sure it open, opens up a doorway here that allows you into this section here. But like I said, I'm not going to cover that in this walkthrough. We're just going to get the goods you need to kick Elden Beast's ass. Um, next, all we have to do is go back down to any side of grace, rest, and Rena's Rise, the tower to the north, which was previously blocked. Okay, this tower here um, will now be open. So that's the next stop. You just have to go to any side of grace. And I typically rest or like wait. Just make sure everything, because this this quest is kind of funny like that. You have to like wait. And let's go down. And I want to kill all these wolves here so I can get the map. Done and done. And let's put a beacon on this guy here so that we can easily find it in the fog. And right on over there. If you recall correctly, this was previously blocked, but now it's open. Alright, elevator up. Okay, and go all the way to the top, and we're going to find a way gate at the top. And examine, travel to another location, agree, fasten your seatbelts, make sure your tray table is in the upright and locked position, and <laughs> shazam. We are now in Ainsel River, Maine, a previously inaccessible location. And this is where we're going to get great or Ghost Glover 6 and 7. The first thing you want to do is pick up um, Miniature Ranny. And then go to this side of Grace over here, and you're going to get a new option in the Grace menu. Discover this. This is to continue the Randy quest line. And here it is. Talk to Miniature Randy. You're going to have to click on it three times before you get her to talk to you. And she clams up, and again. And she climbs up and says nothing, and three times a charm. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Alright, and have anything else to say, Rani? Perform for me a service as Same thing. Okay. eliminate the, the name of Rani the Witch. I will not. Okay, so that's all she's got to say. If you want to, um, continue the Rani quest line. There's actually quite a bit more to do. We're going down this way anyways. Um, what we want is down in this area here. Glo Ghost, Ghost Glover 6 and 7 is right here. So, going to the south. Shields up, Scotty. 
and you're gonna have to deal with this giant gigantic thing, rock slinging thing. And let's get a better um, <laughs> Ash of War. Uh, how about Lutel? Whoops. Alright. Okay, all these claymen are pretty slow and they never dodge, so let's use some comet. Maybe a charged comet will be enough to finish him off in one shot. This guy's hiding. Not quite. Um, what if I put on the magic scorpion charm? Okay, there it is. That's what you gotta deal with. And he's activated, so we gotta take cover. He can blow down trees, but walls, like solid structures like this, he can't. So let's let's flank him. Take him out, and then we can get those those ghost bloodbirds. Keep cover here. There we go. Okay, so that can one shot the claimant with this setup here Ritual Sword, Graven Mass Talisman, Grave Skull Talisman, and the Magic Scorpion Giant, and the Comet Spell. Okay, wait for him to shoot. Careful, Lutel. And she took some heat. Okay, let's go this way. Shoot now, loot later. So stick to cover. I'm going to go around the right side, or the left side rather, and flank him. Right over here. Watch it. You got it? Alright, you go, Lutel. You go, girl. Okay, so this is the best position to take that guy on. Right here. Just wait till he shoots. And then let him have it. Wait for it. He shoots. And pop out. Block on. And down he goes. There you go. So, the threat in the area has been eliminated. And here is the Ghost Glover 6 and 7, conveniently enough, together. There's your 6, and there's your 7. And there's more 6s in this area, and one more 7. I believe that's a 7 over there. that thing gonna do. Oh shit. It packs a punch. Okay. And this is a seven. Dislike all it, dislike all it. And there's more sixes too. It's a lot more sixes actually. Very good. Let's just make the tour. There, there's some ghost glovers right there. Pretty sure these are a couple of sixes. One six, and another six. So now, everybody is cooking with gas. Get everything you need. 
to take on the Elden Beast. Exactly as I showed in episode 35, 135 rather. Okay, you can look around for more goodies, but we're done here. My work here is done. Let's go above ground and I'm going to show you a shield you can use, you can buy. That's a good substitute for the Golden Great Shield in case you weren't lucky enough to get that. And that is can be purchased from this. We don't we haven't discovered you yet, but it's the merchant right there. Alright, and start off at Altus Highway Junction here in the Altus Plateau. Let's wait till morning. All right, we're gonna push to the north up the road, and I believe uh, Brother Corin's bell bearing is gonna be here along the way. I can't remember if we collected it or not. Right where the map pillar is. Yeah, right here. There we go. Corrin's bell bearing and its flail. And his rope. Grab that, turn it into the twin maiden husks at the round table and you get to buy spells off him. Whatever he had in his inventory. Alright, so I'm just gonna follow this road around. Fire at will into any enemies you see along the way if you feel so inclined, but I'm just going to go straight to the merchant. And there's a site of grace here conveniently enough, so you want to discover that in case you want to come back here. That way gate will take you across to the opposite side right there, that's what that does. Basically takes you across the broken bridge. Okay, so having discovered that, you can conveniently come back, visit this merchant anytime you like. And this shield right here. The cross tree tower shields. Good substitute for um the golden great shield. It's not the best holy damage shield, but it's got pretty good holy damage as you can see. Uh sixty six now and if you put the I'm afraid of very little to offer if you put the sacred affinity on it it'll bump it up to 76 I believe just by way of demonstration ashes of war take it off the brass shield and the cross cross tree tower shield put this affinity on it and choose the sacred affinity. Oh, it's 84. Oh, wow. This is almost as good as the Golden Great Shield. Just a little short. This is a great substitute. No, sorry. The, the math was wrong in that screen there. I was looking at attack power. Yeah, that's what I thought. 75.9. 76. 76 holy damage negation. And if I recall correctly, the golden great shield was uh, 85. So this is just 9% short. Now, like I said, in the Elden Beast boss fight I did, I actually did it with the wrong talisman. I had... Uh, First of all, I had the Great Shield Talisman, and then I had the Halic Drake plus two Talisman. There we go. And I should have had the Pearl Drake plus two, but instead I had the Spell Drake plus two. And this will give you 9% more, it gives you like 9% all non-physical um, damage negation, which includes 9% holy damage negation, which is exactly what you're running short with that shield that you just bought. So you're going to be in the exact same shape as I was 
in the Elden Beast boss fight. It's not like you're going to be compromised or anything. Alright? And um, everything else I covered in that video. Put this here and... And obviously you're going to max out the shield. You're going to upgrade it. The Sacred Cross Tree Tower Shield so that you get like more guard boost out of it. And there you go. You're all set up. All set up. Ready to rock and roll, boys and girls. So this this walkthrough is done. Um, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to put together a mage build to beat the Elden Beast. Um, depends on like my workload. Um, I've been working on it for a while. I got some new ideas. I also want to try it with the Mimic tier because before I was working on it, like admittedly, I was working on a mage build to take on the Elden Beast without the benefit of the Mimic tier plus ten. I was using just Lutel plus seven and also I didn't have um, I didn't have this and I didn't have this I just had lower versions of both of those so that could make a difference I'm gonna have to see fool around with that anyways I'll keep you apprised of uh, what's going on if I decide to uh, put up a mage build to beat the Elden Beast if not refer to part 135 where I can lay it out completely exactly where to go from here to take on the Elder Beast. Um, what you would do is you got lots of larval tiers. Let me just review here. You got lots of larval tiers. What you would do is go down to visit uh, Renella, the Queen of the Moon, at the Rhea Lucario Grand Library. Okay, and you got lots of larval tiers that we just picked up in Akron Eternal City. And you're going to respec exactly how I outlined in part 135. To, to create that strength now build. Now, bear this. Okay, you're going to respec exactly as I showed you. And then upgrade that... Um, that shield. Be not alarmed. I would burn. And if you don't have a claimant's harpoon, it doesn't matter. You can use the great Ape. Put the flame of the red maids on that we've already used that in the boss fight. It works beautifully. There we go. Take the carrying ground deer off that and put the flame of the red maids on that and make sure that you use the or any other sword. You know, anything you feel comfortable with. If you have a sword that's that you know that's better than that. Okay. Flame of the Red Mains. Make sure you choose the Flame Art um, Affinity. And you're, and you're good to go. And everybody has, if you've been following this walkthrough, like I said, everybody's got the Serpent Hunter, which we already previously upgraded to plus nine. So you just have one to go using a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Hopefully you have one to spare. Where is it? I think I stashed it. Here it is, right here. Yeah. That's it. So you're all set up. So, my work here is done. <laughs> I want to thank you all very much for watching. And, uh, like I said, coming up next is going to be a Vagabond run. I've been working on this run for, uh, for several weeks now. It's going to be a lot of fun. Special challenge run. All right, and that is coming up as soon as humanly possible. Fairly soon, you probably want to wait long, maybe a day or so. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.